let's make those power apps prettier. So here what we want to do is turn this image of a button into an actual button, right? You can see the shininess, right? It's not a power apps button. It's just an image that I've uploaded through an image control. So now I want to make that work as a button. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to go over here to the insert menu and we're going to insert a button and we're going to drag it on top of it. Now we're going to stretch the button to cover up the whole thing. Now what you want to do is set the button's text to be nothing. And then you want to click on the button itself and you want to set its fill color to be transparent. Then you want to set its hover fill and we're going to set that to be RGBA 169, 169, 169. 0.25. Next, we're going to set the press fill and we're going to set the press fill to be self.fill. Now, if we hit play and if we hover, we're going to see that we get a gray box over it. It's almost what we want, but you see how the gray edges there are a little over? So what we're going to do there is we need to use the radius. So let's X out of here. And then over here on the right, we're going to set the radius to be 50. And now if we hit play, we hover, we see, right, we get the gray effect, but we don't see it. Boom, we have an image as a button now.